start off with a BB cream and just apply this all over my face to create a base for all my makeup. We're going to start off by working on the eyes. I'm just going to take different shades of blue and build it up to pretty much a smoky eye. I'm not going to go too in depth so you can just pretty much watch what I'm doing and make sure you do prime your lids ahead of time. Next, just take any like white eyeliner or you can take a NYX Wonder Pencil like I did and we're going to start drawing the outline for the rose that is going on our forehead. If you'd like, you can draw a different flower and I will also link down below the tutorial that I found here on YouTube that helped me sort of come up with this outline of the rose. So after all your flower is drawn out, you can see here that I'm outlining it using just any black liquid liner so that the lines stand out a little bit more and it'll be easier for when we start to shade it in next. Now I am shading in my flower. I was going to do a gold rose, however the pigmentation was not that great on the gold that I wanted to use, so I just decided to go with a yellow. As you can see, I accidentally colored in one of the leaves yellow, but that is no big deal. We're going to go ahead and fix that very shortly. Now I am just taking a white shade to sort of highlight certain areas of the rose and add a little bit more dimension to it. And then after that, I'm going to take a black and start adding a little bit more detail to the leaves on the side. So now I'm just taking a yellow eyeshadow to set the rose and then I'm going to do the same thing with a green eyeshadow to set the leaves because we are using cream face paints and we do not want them to smear. Now I am going back in with a black gel liner to re-outline my rose and really perfect it since we are pretty much done with it. So now we're going to take our blue and apply this all over the face. I'm just using a hairpin to pretty much scrape some of the product out and then I'm going to begin working it onto my face. Working in small sections, keep in mind that you could do any color, I just happen to choose blue. So once you've applied the entire color all over your face with a brush, I recommend going back in with some type of beauty sponge to really just smooth out all the makeup and make sure there are no lines. Now take a blue eyeshadow that matches the color that we chose for our face or a translucent powder and use this to set your entire face. Now take a deeper shade of blue and use this as your contour color. I'm going to be contouring my cheeks and a little bit below my jawline. Here I am applying a little bit of blue eyeshadow around the eye area because I noticed some skin seeping through and then I am taking a sponge and some white to mute out my lips. After that I'm taking some black with a slanted brush and I'm going to start creating the mouth and teeth. As you can see, I am adding a little bit more black to the mouth area and then I am rounding out the area where I drew my teeth if that makes any sense so that it actually looks like teeth and they don't look so square-ish. Next I'm going to add some brown and yellow to the teeth to make them look a little more old and gross. 
So now I'm just carving out my nose and then filling it in. I did not set this on camera, but just take any black eyeshadow after this and set it so that again it stays in place. And then just using this blood from the drugstore, I am creating tears of blood. And here's the part where things get a little bit messy. I am just going to smear some blood all over my neck because why not? It looks pretty cool and it just adds to the entire look.